Hey everyone, this is Daniel from Phone Arena with a video review of the Samsung Galaxy Music 18 oriented phone for music fans hinted by the dedicated play post key here on the side which when held takes you directly into the music player and even works on the phone as well. You can hear the dual stereo speakers in action. Nothing that impressive in terms of clarity, but uh, pretty strong nonetheless. And you can pause with the dedicated button, start the song again, or go directly into the music player from a locked state. Pretty handy to manage your music collection. And what is even handier is this micro is this card slot here on the left, which allows you to hot swap cards with your music collection. There's a protective flap here at the top, which hosts the micro USB port as well. And overall the phone is uh, designed with flashy color this nice blue here, a lot of chrome-like rims applied. We also have uh, metal grills over the two speakers at the front, a material that Samsung doesn't use very often in its uh, phones. This uh, tiny headset is very easy to hold and operate with uh, one hand, fitting comfortably in your palm with its uh, rounded corners and the tapered edges. It is on the chubby side, but nothing too grand and unbearable while the weight is kept in check. The Galaxy Music uh, score po scores points for the regular SIM card slot underneath the battery and the easily accessible micro is the one on the left we showed you. Looking around the sides, uh, we find the dedicated play post key we showed you and this uh, volume rocker on the left which is uh, very easy to find and press with good tactile feedback. The display is uh, nothing to write home about. A basic 3 inch LCD screen with 240 by 320 pixels of resolution is what uh, Samsung decided to outfit the Galaxy Music with and uh, it is as bad as it sounds. Washed out colors, uh, very weak viewing angles as you can see and pretty low pixel density is what awaits you, so you're unlikely to spend hours browsing and watching videos on this one. The one bright spot is sunlight visibility as the screen performs uh, decently outside and the uh, interface elements remain visible enough for comfortable operation. There is no light sensor though, so you'd have to pump up the brightness uh, to the max manually with the slider here in the notification bar. The phone runs Android Ice Cream Sandwich, which is covered with Samsung's own TouchWiz UI on top. It offers no surprises with a typical Samsung set of widgets and an abundance of connectivity toggles in the notification bar here. There's a pretty spare use of transparencies, as you can see, and transitional animations compared to the larger caliber galaxies, as the processor is not very powerful to support uh, those freely. Apart from uh, its own apps, and media hubs. Samsung has only preloaded Quick Office for opening Microsoft Office and PDFs. As uh, you can easily guess, typing on this smallish display is not very easy, especially with bigger hands. And the fact that the keyboard doesn't turn in portrait mode uh, isn't helping either. We have a 800 and 50 megahertz processor, single core, but with a Cortex-A9 architecture, so it has enough power to pull through your daily tasks and interface navigation, but often has hiccups while loading apps or running more demanding ones. Let's see, it takes quite a bit of time to load the contacts and the dialer. The Galaxy Music has 512 megabytes of RAM and four gigabytes of internal memory of which 1.7 gigabytes are user available but it uh, also offers 
a micro SD card slot on the left for storage expansion with uh, up to 32 gigabyte cards. Now let's have a look at the browser. It is a basic ICS version with no Adobe Flash support and somewhat uh, choppy panning and scrolling thanks to the comparatively slow processor. The low pixel density is a bummer too, but you're unlikely to use the browser on such a tiny screen for hours on end anyway. The handset supports the basic connectivity options, 7.2 megabits per second, HSDPA downloads, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS and FM radio. Despite its music designation, the phone doesn't offer anything extra in the already pretty rich touch with tunes player. The usual song categorization are present along with the music square mood matrix. The player interface is uh, pretty easy to operate with minimalistic interface here. Equalizers are easily accessible right from the playback menu with a tap of a button. All the sound effects uh, and equalizer presets. There are two stereo speakers top and bottom in the front and this supplied sound of life and SRS surround sound modes do make a difference in terms of intensity. Yet overall the speakers are nothing to write home about. Not so much in terms of uh, strength as uh, in terms of sound quality, which is about average. The handset uh, plays MPEG-4 files out of the box up to 800 by 480 definition. But you have to turn them manually in landscape format with a dedicated button here in the video interface as there is no orientation sensor to turn them around. The 3 megapixel camera on the back of the phone doesn't have a flash and the interface is pretty basic, hinting at the limited functionality of the units. So we get a few shooting modes including panorama, there are a couple of uh, scene presets you can use as well as uh, a few color effects. Going into the camera up is pretty quickly from the lock screen directly and focusing and taking a shot is very fast too with minimum shutter lag as you can see. The pictures uh, themselves exhibit more than enough detail for the resolution but the colors look somewhat bland compared to reality and the white balance is off at times and when you get inside uh, the low light capabilities uh, turn out even worse. The phone records uh, 320 by 240 video which is only good for watching on the handset's uh, mediocre screen. Depending on the way it is priced, the Samsung Galaxy Music could turn out uh, one unpretentious hot seller amongst teens as it has the prerequisite colored looks uh, with chrome-like blingery all around and extra music features thrown in. As uh, positive sides, we would point out the dedicated play pause key here on the side and the stereo speakers at the front. We also have a regular SIM card slot and a hot swappable micro SD card slot here on the left and on overall attractive teen oriented design. As uh, cons would point out, the smallish screen with uh, pretty low pixel density and uh, weak viewing angles. The speaker's quality also is nothing but average and we have the lack of some sensors like the ambient light sensor and orientation one. As uh, alternatives, we'll point out uh, the HC One V which uh, also has an emphasis on music with its Beats audio branding and sports a bigger display, 3.7 inches, but it's more expensive. The cheap Sony Xperia Tipo is also a good bet with a slightly larger screen and a decent loudspeaker but the Galaxy Music still stands out with its uh, dedicated music player key and the stereo speakers. This was a video review of the Samsung Galaxy Music from Phone Arena. For more information about this and other handsets you can visit us at phonearena.com. Thanks for watching.